In this video, I'll show you how to record your screen using Filmora 12. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, Filmora 12 screen recorder is powerful and there are two ways to start it up. The first method is when you're on the home screen of Wondershare Filmora. Here you can click on screen recorder and it's going to pull up the screen recorder. But I'll use the project settings and go to a new project and once I do that, it's going to open up a new blank project. From here, when you're in the media section, you'll notice there's an option to record. Click on the drop down, and you can record from webcam, record PC screen, record voiceover. Let's click on record PC screen, click on that, and it's going to pull up. So we've got the Wondershare screen recorder right here. And there are a couple of settings right here. These are the dimensions what you see highlighted with a white line and some options here. You can adjust this to fit where you want it or where you want to make your recordings. But let's last leave it as full screen 1920 by 1080. Next up, we've got the speaker where the audio is going to be coming out from. And then we've got the microphone right here. And this is the audio that you'll be hearing uh, when you're recording. You can click on the icons like that to turn off. You can click on that to turn off. Now I'll select uh, my microphone here. Let's select that and leave the webcam option alone. This is the record button. But if I move this particular interface slightly, you'll notice that my webcam is showing somewhere there. That's not the main webcam I use. So we'll need to click on settings. So we can make adjustments to this. So when you click on these settings or open up the settings, you'll see the options to save to. And then you'll see the option for the frame rate. What frame rate do you want your video to be in? Let's assume you're working with like 30 FPS, 25, 80 Let's say we go with 30 FPS. Uh, the quality, what quality do you want? Lower, recommended or higher? Let's go with higher quality. And then a countdown before the screen recording begins. And then there's a record timer. So you can stop recording after X number of hours. Let's assume you want to record something on your PC for like two or three hours, but you don't want to sit in front of your laptop doing that. You can use this particular option to set how long you want your recording to be done. And once it's done, it's going to close out. Next up, we have the mouse. Do you want to show your mouse clicks in recording? That's very important, especially if you're doing step-by-step -step tutorials or screencasts for people to follow along. So. You also need to play mouse click on sound or the mouse click sound so that people can know, hey, David clicked on this and they're not confused what is going on. Next up, we've got the pause resume hotkey, which is F10 to pause or resume. And then we've got the start stop hotkey F9. Next up, we've got the camera, record the camera stream. By default, we have the HP wide vision a HD camera of the laptop selected, but I'll click on the drop down. And once I do, it's going to pull this forward. And let's say we go with HP Pro Webcam C920. Once I do that, everything changes, gives me a more premium look. Uh, just forgive my background right now. So we can position this where we want. Uh, and then if you're satisfied with all the settings that you have set right inside here, then all we need to do is just click on record. There we go, it's preparing to record. Press F9 to stop recording. So let's do a screencast. In this video, I'll walk you through my website, freelancerinsights.com. So I'll just do some quick navigations, narrating what I'm doing, ATC, move down. Let's say that is what you wanted to do. Uh, a good thing with Filmora 12 screen recorder, you can move this particular talent Let's assume on the other side. So if you're doing some gameplay, you don't obscure anything there. And then we can move back up slightly. Let's say we go to this particular topic, click on it, uh, maybe try and read and see what is available here. If it's a video, just go watch ETC. So uh, this is where we go. You can move this to the other side as well. Really, really handy, especially if you're working on something, you can resize it to be a little bit smaller on the fly. Remember, everything is happening in real time. So 
you can move it there if you want it to be a little bit smaller and then once you're satisfied press on f9 to stop the recording and the recording is going to be automatically imported as a new project right here so you can close the screen recorder and we have a project right inside here so the project comes in as a video and it's ready for us to make the different edits that we want so i'll just click on the plus and then let's say let's say we want to match it to media so there we have it and then i can pull uh, just this one slightly up and then one thing i'll do is just i'll crank up the volume a little bit uh, for us to get up some better volume let's go back home and then uh, we make it fit to size or selection so let's just play it a little bit so let's do a screencast mm, let's actually just move this slightly to the side and this like that and then you can move this this way let's play in this video i'll walk you through my website so there we have it down there and then somewhere around here we move it to this side sorry we move it to the side and then we move it to the top we resize it we resize it all happening in real time so if you're satisfied you can just make your edits now and then once you're done you can export this particular video uh, probably one thing I'd like to notice that it would be awesome if we had uh, like uh, the webcam footage uh, in a different timeline here or a track so that if we wanted to manipulate it further for example make it like a circular crop that would be really awesome but if all you wanted was to record your pc screen using filmora screen recorder you can do it in filmora 12 and that's it for this video and that is how you can use filmora 12's screen recorder to record your screen webcam when you're doing screencasts or even gameplays thanks for watching and until next time stay safe and never stop learning